The National Rifle Association is set to kick off its annual meeting tomorrow. The event will go on all weekend at the Music City Center and is expected to bring in at least 70,000 gun enthusiasts and Second Amendment supporters to downtown Nashville. Ahead of everyone arriving to town, the NRA says it's asking its members to pay attention to where guns are and are not allowed in the Sobro area. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us live downtown. And Jason, these rules are different just across the street from where you are. Yeah, that's right, Vicki. The NRA is allowing guns inside right here at the Music City Center for the convention, but that is not the case at an NRA-sponsored event being held right across the street. At the Music City Center today, folks with the NRA geared up for one of the biggest conventions this building has ever seen. And we're so excited to be here in Nashville because we know this is a huge draw. But for the 70,000 people expected to show up, some carrying guns, the rules are different in this building than the ones just across the street. We welcome all our NRA members and attendees at our annual meeting to carry firearms in the Music City Center as long as they're in full compliance with state and local laws and we leave that up to them to do that research. While guns will be allowed for those properly licensed inside the Music City Center, that rule is not the same for other NRA sponsored events. At a concert Saturday night presented by the NRA at the Bridgestone Arena next door, guns will not be allowed in accordance with Bridgestone's policy. Other nearby attractions like the Country Music Hall of Fame also don't allow guns. And inside the exhibit hall where personal guns are allowed, the specific guns on display will have their firing pins removed. All of the firearms that are on display or on exhibit here with our exhibitors are inoperable. So this is not a gun show. No one can purchase a firearm here. The firearms that are on display are inoperable. The NRA says they're making it clear to people attending the convention they need to know what the handgun carry rules are for every place they go. I think generally people who have a handgun permit are already very well versed in what the laws are. They do that research and we find that our members certainly are well informed, but we encourage everyone who comes to be informed on what the laws are. With the rules in place, the Music City Center says it's ready for the 70,000 new guests this weekend. And the NRA says it does have plenty of security for this event this weekend. That includes several off-duty Metro Police officers that the NRA is paying for. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Jason. And you can't have a convention in Music City without music. A stage will be set up outside the Music City Center. Concerts start tomorrow afternoon and last through Sunday. Some of the acts taking the NRA Country Soundstage, Josh Thompson, Bucky Covington, and Tyler Farr.